Since you can't tell if a thermal fuse is blown out simply by looking at it, you'll need to perform a continuity test. A continuity test will determine if a continuous electrical path is present in the fuse. If the fuse has continuity, it should be functioning properly. No continuity means the electrical path is broken and the fuse has blown out. Please be aware that the high voltage and high current used by microwave ovens pose a substantial risk for injury or death if you disassemble them to perform repairs. Since high voltage capacitors used in microwaves may retain a charge even after the microwave has been unplugged, we recommend that only experienced professionals access and replace internal components. Thermal fuses come in many shapes and sizes, but all of them can be tested for continuity in the same way. You can choose from a variety of multimeters to perform the test. For this demonstration, we will use both analog and digital models. When using an analog model, first rotate the range selection dial to the lowest setting for ohms of resistance. Then calibrate the meter by pinching the probes together while adjusting the needle to read zero. When using a digital model, again rotate the dial to the lowest setting for ohms of resistance, or resistance with tone if your meter has this option. Before you begin, make sure the fuse has been removed or isolated from the microwave. Use a probe to touch one of the fuse's terminals and the second probe to touch the other terminal. If the meter reading shows zero ohms of resistance, the fuse has continuity. If the needle does not move, or the digital display does not change significantly, there is no continuity, which means the fuse has blown out and will need to be replaced. Be aware that the failure of the fuse often indicates that there is a shorted electrical component in the microwave, such as a failed door switch.